Hyrule really with approximately 100 days to go to the release of Battlefield 5. It's time to think about how can we prepare for this monumentous title. How can we be ready to take names and get to the top of that leaderboard when the new version of Battlefield 5 comes out in a few short months? And the answer you probably got right in front of you installed on your consoles or your PC right now and that is Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 and specifically the team deathmatch gameplay. Now you'll notice from this gameplay I'm quite rusty. I keep dying and I'm not killing many people. That's because I've been playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on my Xbox um, intensively over the last few months and I'm very rusty at Battlefield. But if you want to get better, Team Deathmatch is the way to go. With a sprinkle of domination as well because it's all about killing, it's all about using the guns. Now, in these clips I'm using assault rifles and submachine guns but you want to be getting out the LMGs and you want to be getting out the sniper rifles and you want to be trying various gadgets just to get used to it. Now you might say, well why not just Battlefield 1? Because B Battlefield 1 um, is the um, direct predecessor to what will be Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 5 looks a bit like Battlefield 1 with the World War 2 skin well apparently and the feedback from the alpha um, uh, gameplay so far is that the time to kill in Battlefield 5 is similar to Battlefield 4 and also the fact that there is no random deviation on bullets in Battlefield 5 so what happens in Battlefield 1 is when you were firing at people the bullet wouldn't always go where you aimed it it would it would go somewhere else randomly, you know. It would uh, like it would in real life, really. But apparently, in Battlefield 5, they're taking that away, and where you aim your bullet is where it will go, and that is similar to Battlefield 4. So that's why I recommend playing Battlefield 4. And there's also the fact that you have all the automatic weapons in Battlefield 4. I know you do get quite a few in Battlefield 5, uh, Battlefield 1, sorry, but there will be more um, in Battlefield uh, in Battlefield 5. And so I'd say that's why you should practice both games. Practice TDM in Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 and then you'll be ready to take on Battlefield 5 when it comes out in those short few months. I know I can't wait, it's going to be amazing, we're going to have the beta before then as well. But anyway, let's go, let's see, let's practice, let's be ready and let's prepare to dominate the battlefield. See you again soon.